Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to put medication into a medication cup for oral medication administration. So let's get started. When administering medications, you want to make sure that you follow your hospital's protocols because they may have specific sequences for how they want you to administer medications. First, gather your supplies, perform hand hygiene, and the medication administration rites. I've confirmed the physician's order with what I have on hand. So the physician has ordered 700 milligrams by mouth once a day of fake elixir. And on hand, I'm looking at my medication label and it says I have fake elixir and it's an oral solution. And in this bottle, whenever I measure it out, five milliliters contains 350 milligrams. Well, I need to administer 700 milligrams. So I'm going to administer 10 milliliters. And you can look on your little medicine cup and find 10 milliliters. Now, whenever you're administering liquid oral medications, you wanna make sure you're using the device that came with the medication or what was supplied from pharmacy. And many times patients are gonna be going home on these medications. So you wanna educate them to use the device that came with the medication instead of some household spoon that they might use like a tablespoon or a teaspoon because that could provide the wrong dose. So prior to pouring the medication in the cup, you wanna look at the black lines on the cup. It will tell you what the measurement is. For example, we have five milliliters, 10 milliliters, and 15 milliliters. We are ordered to give 10 milliliters. So I'm going to fill the cup up to that line. However, in some measuring devices, the fluid may curve upwards on the sides due to surface tension. If that's the case, you'll wanna make sure the bottom part of the curve meets the measurement line. Also, you wanna make sure the medication doesn't need to be shaken before you pour it. Because many times, like suspensions, they need to be shaken before you actually pour them into the cup because you need to mix the medication up evenly in the solution it's in. So this medication does say shake well before use. So we're gonna give it a really good shake before we pour it. After shaking the medication, you wanna remove the cap from the bottle, so twist it off and you want to place it in a secure location so you don't just knock it off and place it so the cap opening is pointing up so the bottom of it doesn't become contaminated on the surface you're working with. When pouring the medication into the cup, you wanna make sure that you have it on a flat, sturdy, level surface rather than holding and pouring because whenever you're holding and pouring, you could maybe have the cup a little bit tilted and it could throw off the measurement. When you're ready to pour the medication, you wanna make sure that you hold this bottle in a way that protects this label from medication dripping on it and then obscuring like the dosage and other people and yourself can't read it. So you wanna hold the bottle where your hand is going to be covering this label to protect it. So make sure the label is upward take your hand and just cover it like so and hold it like this when you're ready to pour. In addition, whenever you're pouring, you wanna make sure that you bend down and look at the cup straight on so that your angle of view doesn't distort the measurement. As you pour the medication into the cup, do it slowly until it becomes even with the black line. Now let's say that you overfill it. Well, what you can do is discard the extra medication per your facility's protocols, but don't attempt to add it back to the bottle because this could cause contamination of the medication that's in the bottle. Once you're done pouring, you wanna make sure that you take a dry clean napkin and just clean the top of the opening of the bottle because this is going to help prevent any buildup on the bottle from happening. Because from my experience, I have seen crusted medication just build up at the end of this bottle plus it'll leak down and just dry on that medication label and what can happen is that that crust can actually fall into your medication cup and contaminate it once you've done that you want to take the cap and you want to place it back on the bottle and tightly secure it on there and check it make sure it's in place and then you want to store the medication according to the medication labels instructions this medication needs to be refrigerated so that is where we can store it and um, some medications can be stored at room temperature but always check now before administering you want to again perform the medication checks and you want to perform hand hygiene and don gloves then assist the patient into an upright position to swallow the medication after the patient has taken the medication you want to dispose of the cup or if you need to keep the cup because it's used for multiple doses you want to clean it with warm soapy water and let it completely air dry and then return it to the patient's medication bottle 
Once that's complete, you want to doff your gloves, perform hand hygiene, and document. Okay, so that wraps up this demonstration on how to put medication into a cup. And if you'd like to watch more nursing skill videos, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.